So we're going to do the sum of all moments around point A equals zero. So this equation is simply saying that all of those rotations caused by these forces should add up to zero so that your beam is perfectly still and not rotating, okay? So we're looking at point A. The first force causing a rotation around point A is this 1,500 pound force. So I'm going to say 1,500 pounds times two feet. So that's the first moment. This force will cause a clockwise rotation. And we actually define clockwise moment as a negative moment. Now this force is going to cause a counterclockwise rotation. So we have an 800 pound force that's seven feet away from point A. And we define counterclockwise as a positive moment. So I'm going to say plus 800 pounds times its distance away from point A, which is five plus two, seven feet. Then we have this 1,200 pound force. That one's gonna cause a clockwise rotation around point A, so that's a negative moment. It's four feet plus five feet plus two feet. So 11 feet. And then we have this last force over here, which is RB, that reaction force from the column. And that one is pushing up, so it's gonna cause a counterclockwise rotation around point A, so that's a positive moment. So plus, RB times its distance away from point A, 14 feet. And so all of those moments caused by all these forces has to add up to zero. So equals zero.